Let's now take a closer look at the telecommunications between Earth and the Moon. There are several elements that don't add up in this area, like for example the delay in the radio communications between Houston and the astronauts. The Earth and the Moon are about 240,000 miles apart. For this reason, a radio signal takes about 1.3 seconds to reach our satellite and another 1.3 seconds to come back to Earth. This means that when Houston asked a question to the astronauts on the Moon, the reply should have taken at least 2.6 seconds to come back to Earth. 1.3 seconds for the question to reach the astronaut, 1.3 seconds for his answer to come back. There are some cases, however, where the answer from the astronaut comes back much faster. Here is one example. Roger, Jim, copy. And are you progressing towards Dune Crater now? Yes. The answer is almost immediate. It takes a little over a second for it to come back. Roger, Jim, copy. And are you progressing towards Dune Crater now? Yes. This is the soundtrack from the original audio. This segment contains the question coming from Houston, and this is the answer by the astronaut. The gap between the end of the question and the answer is only 1.1 seconds. Roger, Jim, copy. And are you progressing towards Dune Crater now? Yes. Too short for this communication to have really come from the Moon. To examine the audio delays, we have obviously used the original, unmodified tapes from NASA distributed around the world by spacecraft films. If there is one thing everybody agrees on, it's that the DVDs by Spacecraft Films are the only originals that can be used as reference for any kind of research.